So let's just talk about use state hook in React. So use state hook is most commonly used hooks in React and this allows the functional components to have state in them. So previously the class components can only have the state but now with the help of the use state hook the functional components also can have state. So the syntax is so the use state takes one initial value and then it returns one array and the array contains the state and the set state function. So inside the use state we pass the initial value this will be initialized to the state. So the state will contain the current state value and the set state is a function and the function is used to update the state. The initial value can be of any type it can be one string, it can be number, it can be array or even one object. And also we need to understand that the initial value will only be used during the first render. And also we can pass one function inside the use state which can return a value. And whenever we call the set state and we update the state then the component will re-render with the new state. So here we have a functional component app and we are trying to create one counter. So whenever we click on this button we wanted to increase a value. So to keep the value we need a state in the functional component. For this we can use the use state hook. So we can call the use state hook with the initial value. So the counter will have the initial value at 0 and then whenever we call the use state hook it will return one array and the array will contain the current state we can call it count and also the function to set or update the count and we can call this set count. So whenever we click on this button we are gonna use the on click handler and here we are just gonna pass one arrow function and here we are gonna update the state so we are gonna use the set count function we are gonna increase the value of count by 1. So whenever we click on this button the value of count will increase by 1. Inside the curly braces we can print the value of count. So here we have the button and the counter and initial value is 0. Now if we click on this button you can see the value of count is increasing and that is only possible because of this use state hook which allows the functional component to have state and does not have to be rely on class components anymore. So the use state hook is very powerful hook and it is a fundamental in building dynamic react components. So that's it for the video. See you in the next one. Take care.